Finally tonight, for anyone who's ever forgotten a name or where they put their car keys, the competition that played out today in New York was something to behold. Terrell Brown takes us inside the 17th annual USA Memory Championship. The challenges seem impossible. Memorizing the names of 117 strangers in 15 minutes and listing them in order correctly. Or memorizing a shuffle deck of 52 cards in five minutes. These are just some of the tasks of the USA Memory Championship. Nelson Dellis is this year's winner and a three-time champion. You didn't win last year. Right. How much does this year mean to you? I was pretty big. I, I wanted so bad to win last year and I thought I had it and I lost it at the end. You seeking redemption? Yeah, a little bit. Dellis, who was a mountain climber and works out daily in the gym, started training his mind after learning his grandmother was losing her memory because of Alzheimer's disease. Once you learn these techniques and you realize you have this skill, um, it's kind of addicting because it's suddenly this seemingly superpower that you've, you've, you've had all, always inside you. Frank Felberbaum is one of the world's leading memory experts and coaches high school students at the academies at Inglewood. He believes that anyone can improve their memory using simple techniques. If you use those techniques and practice every day, you'll elevate your powers to a degree that you would have not imagined in your lifetime. 17-year-old Christian Maceus is one of his students. Basically what I do is uh, around 20 minutes a day, I try to like look over some cards or look over some numbers. Although Maceus didn't win this year's challenge, he plans to use these skills next year in college. Terrell Brown, CBS News, New York.